Any other question? Yeah, Mr. Kesh, uh, I was going to ask you about the quality of the nano coating procedure because I've done it now numerous times and uh, like, okay, for uh, example, like our senior, I, our senior nanotechnology scientist has disappeared. He just left. Armin, oh, okay. <laughs> or, <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what I've done for years. The secret of making a perfect nano material is patience. If you don't have patience, you get a black thing when you don't get such a good result. What the way to make it guns is you take your wire, the best way to do, get a Coca-Cola bottle. Make a hole in it, get the wire you want to nano coat. Strip the bottom, strip the top, and then put caustic in the cola bottle, a little bit of hot water, go for a long, long drink of a week. A long time. And then what you get is Coca-Cola bottle, glued there, you see it, and you see a perfect coating, absolute perfect coating. You cannot find any connection, and you can use it very easily. When you do a rush job with nano coating, you get rich flow. What you can do, but don't forget, the same as the battery, you have to show them the direction of flow. So when you put a few up, when you connected it, you just, just with a voltmeter or just a wire, touch the ends together, that you create a current flow. You show the way, the direction you want another material to grow. And the more you do it, the thicker layer. And then if you do it very, very right, you find out some of the plastic will change in some of the coating. You change the CH bond to the carbon addition to the top. So you get a specific composite, which is actually is a copper carbon oxide. And this has a bluish black color, which is very, very, very nice. And it's a huge advantage in the electronics, and especially if you want to charge it up. It's a blue-black, it's not just a black. So, any other question or can we go home now? One last question, how many layers are we talking about? I mean, is that like hundred thousands of layers or thirty thousand? Oh, I've never counted, if you want I'll do it tonight for you. <laughs> but to do it according to the scientific research papers, to have a perfect black, you're talking about 30 to 50,000 layers. But don't forget, after that, it's very hard because the gap between the copper and the layer becomes too distant. It cannot hold. It becomes powderish. If you want to create a powderish plus GANS, you can do it. We do it for um, nuclear reactors. Copper nuclear reactors, like the one, the copper bomb for energy. It's taken two months to coat it, and when you look at it, you see it, it's like a sponge. The, the gans is a sponge color. You need it because it cuts into the plasma. 